What's up, everybody? This is Squiggy with the Music Experience and Loudwire's Gear Factor. I'm hanging out with Isaac from the Mega Band Knock Loose. What's up? Thanks for coming, hey, man. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Chilling out. Um, when you were a young kid, before you were a guitar player, yeah. before you actually picked up the seven string, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was the riff? What was the song that that you were compelled to learn guitar off of? Real basic answer here, but Metallica is my favorite band of all time. Mm -hmm. And I think that this might be every single kid's first riff, but yeah. the Enter Sandman riff, <laughs> that guy was like, Probably the first riff I ever learned. So when you picked up yeah, the guitar, yeah, and you're like, you're like, I could, I'm, I'm like okay at this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, where, yeah. Um, what was the, what was like the moment in time? Were, were, were you playing uh, a knock loose riff? Were you playing uh, another band's riff? Like, like how, how did you come up to the determination of like, I think I got this. It was, it was mostly playing along to songs that I knew. Like I had a room in the back where I would just plug into a combo amp really loud. Yeah. And my dad had like a speaker system, right? And then he would play music over it. And so sometimes I would plug up like some kind of shitty MP3 player or right, something right, like right. that. And I would play along to the songs that I heard. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as I was able to like follow shit, like you know, and, you know, and like yeah, do yeah. it and and hit it on time with yeah. what was going on. Yeah, yeah, That's when I was getting stoked about playing. So your dad was a guitar player. He was. He was. Um, do you remember the moment where your dad kind of came to you and said, "You're, you're pretty good at this." He had a super high opinion of me like the entire time still does he still has a super high opinion of me but he was always just always talking me up to be like oh you, like you know uh, and, uh, like in a way like embarrassed like you're at oh, the, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. at the family meal <laughs> yeah, and you're like, totally. hey guys i sit <laughs> over here yeah. little rock star just learned a new riff and you're like shut the f up you yeah, know yeah. uh but they were always doing it to me it, your influence with corn uh, did that influence the band on the tuning? You know, because you guys play in a we played, similar tuning. We played in drop. We play in drop G. Okay. But for our new record, mm -hmm. we play in standard A, which is the same tuning as Corn does, literally exactly. So we moved from drop to standard. Yeah. Which is cool because there's a lot of things you can do like Corn has chords like this. Not that right, you. Yeah. That's harder to do on yeah. a drop tune. Yeah. There's just different things you can do. Sure. So it's cool how they have the old songs and drop. Yeah. And then nothing's transposed. We just tune up the top string, you know, okay. kind of ring out, tune up top strings or play samples, tune up top strings. And uh, it's it's a cool back and forth. The new stuff, I think it sounds, uh, standard A sounds a lot brighter. Mm -hmm. And it was just a, it was a new, exciting way to look at the new record. Sure. To like kind of come at it at a different angle. Of course, of course. And uh, it ended up being really, really sick. So, so I'm happy we made the change. There's always like a riff that brings the band together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where, where, where all of a sudden it's just like, not only can, am, am I good at playing this, I, I think we're all, we're all pretty good, right? You remember the riff that brought the band together? Here, I got it, I got okay. it. We put a song out called Manipulator really, really long time ago. I think it was this guy. Funny ass riff. Ago, a song that you can barely even find on the internet anymore. Mm -hmm. And when we played that for the first time, that was like our first song that took shape. Because back in then, I used to write the music. Yeah. Um, and I remember when we got together and were able to play that as a group yeah. after I wrote it. Right. Because basically, we wrote the song. I wrote the song, and then we were able to play it as a group. And when that hit and everyone was able to do it, it kind of like, came to life. Yeah, right? I was like, oh, you, there's stuff that I wrote that, that we can play. Like, that's yeah. crazy. And then from that cycled into like what it is today. But I do remember when I wrote that riff, and I do remember the first time we played it in my garage and how crazy it felt. One more question. Of course. Uh, what's your favorite Not Blues riff? 
What's the one you are, What's the one you love playing live? So. Uh, <laughs> something that's on the new record yep uh, which is which is like I don't want to give anything away but I will play the song one of the new songs that we play called Mistakes Like Fractures which is one of the new tracks okay um, there's a part in the song where there's a little guitar break uh, and then everything hits with a It's super, super hard for me every single yeah. time. Well, man, I know you guys are uh, pr pretty busy, man. You guys are running around Epicenter. You yeah, guys man. are, you yeah. guys are rock stars, man, dude. Absolutely. You guys are uh, you're killing catch, it. Gotta go catch Vane in a second. Yeah, so th that's actually where I'm going to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh, um, thanks for hanging out with us, man. Thanks, man. Dude, I had a blast talking no to you, man. Me too. Thanks, man. Me too. This is Squiggy with Loudwire. It's Gear Factor. Hanging out with Isaac. Horns up. <laughs>